Welcome back everybody, you're watching the Esports Earnings Casters Invitational and we're now in the lower bracket match between a Terran and a Zerg starting at the top side of the map playing as the green Terran, it's gonna be Funka and his opponents representing Poland and Polish players playing as the red Zerg, it is Emil Building two overlords at the same time, as he says, I ca can't hold back <laughs> <anymore>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can't he hold back? The supply yeah, blocks. Yeah, the supply blocks. Just getting a few overlords in advance these days. Oh my god. You think he no let me let's see what he notices. Yeah, he notices right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know you know what he's thinking right now, right? He's like, please miss this stream. Be talking about something battle toads, but don't look at this. It's gonna make me look bad. But we're on point, we've got a pro in the game, casting, his name is Harstem, and he caught you, Hamil! This girl, she, she caught the winning bouquet. Ah. Uh. Well, you better propose real soon, Emil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 it's funny how he made a side face. I feel like if his girlfriend watched the stream, she's like, what? How are you sad about me uh, catching the bouquet? <laughs> Uh, I know, we're sleeping trouble. on the couch tonight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably where he usually sleeps already, because he's casting all night. Yeah, that's true. Fanka right. going for the dirty tactics here, by the way. A yeah, thermal three racks reaper. Three racks reaper. So, uh, we'll see how uh, Emu will try to deal with that. We know one thing for sure, he won't be supply block anytime soon, so he's got that going for him. In the you know, if it's, there's some hectic moments, he won't forget the overlord because he already has it. Uh, actually, in the front, which I believe is a little bit better against Reapers as well, you can just put a, a single spine crawler to basically cover the front. Emil, however, opting to go for a Roach Warren as he scouts the three Rexes. And he started it in front of the SCV. That guy's not a known giver of dams. Just puts that right down. See Funka uh, expands behind this. For now, it's just going to be a lot of Reapers. Oh, he did start. Yeah, okay. No, he did get the uh, orbital command at least. Yeah, and, uh, no, no, no links to chase this first Reaper away. So I feel like uh, Emil might lose a drone. Yes, first drone goes down. Funka going to try to go for a second drone, but the Queen pops out. Is here to deny it. I'm not sure how I feel about the Roach Warren. He's already getting a spine as well. I feel like just with a spine, that should be sufficient defense. Get a couple of queens, uh, a couple of speedlings to make sure no run buys can happen. But I feel like that should have been enough. Uh, Emil, however, not happy with just uh, a single spine crawler. Is going for a Roach Warren. Oh, gets a Reaper actually. That's yeah. big. A big miscontrol there by Funka. This really is a snowball build. The moment you're starting to lose Reapers, it's a you're, you're in a bad place. I was wondering if Emil, because he made a road run, might be more inclined to just get a ton of roaches and head across the map and try and do damage, but against KDA charge, it's still pretty hard. And for now, it's just gonna be defense, drone starting, and a couple more units as well to make sure that it's safe. Both players are masters, I believe, but with uh, Funk having more MMR than Emil. Yeah. Uh. I'm I'm not sure if Emil's master. He might just be high diamond, no? That's what it said on his profile at least. Maybe. Yeah. I, I, he's masters in my heart, you know, like Yeah, ma masters in our heart. Master in his The real ranking. Well. You know, it's like those guys that lose first round, they're like, you know, in my heart I won the whole thing because I bet so <laughs> I bet so well. For me Emil's the true winner. Okay. That that's really all that matters. Uh we see Funka going into a factory, so no triple CC behind this, just going into a faster factory. Uh, most likely going to be tanks, I guess, as he's getting a tech lab, so... I, I'm, I'm not sure what this follow-up is going to be, I can't say that I've seen this before, but... Curious what it's going to be, he's still trying to do some damage with the Reapers, at least he's denying the creep, so that's something that he does have going for him. If we take a look at the, the worker tab, however, Emu is quite far ahead by eight workers at the... At this moment, third base going up for him as well. And he already has the layer, so I'm curious what we're going to see out of him. It's going to be some kind of night display or Muta, because this layer was very fast. Yeah, one of the overlords falling across the map, actually, that was a bit sloppy by Emil. Funka snipes the spine and then gets back. Starting tank production now, and not adding on a starboard, so I guess... 
Just triple racks, bio and some tanks and I need to an attack to try and kill Emil. Which Emil, yeah. because he lost his overlord, he can't really scout. He has another one on the other side of the map, but no nematized carapace. Oh, and the Nidus now starts. Yeah, but, but I feel like Funka has the perfect build against yeah. it. Already has one tank, second tank on the way. But imagine if he's mi in the middle of the map. He starts with third CC actually. Ooh, losing some more Reapers too. If he starts moving out as the Nidus goes up somewhere in his main base, he could be in big trouble. Yeah, I'm not sure if Funk is actually planning on moving out or just wants to play it safe with the tanks. Uh, but I, I feel like he isn't. If, if he isn't getting a starport, he must be planning to do something, right? No eBay's either, so yeah, he might just wanting to move out. Oh, he can't seize the Nidus. Uh, and Emil starts nine drones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, really. Opponents do. He should have made it like around the natural, right? Like all the way down in the natural, I think. Or maybe even in the third base, like the pocket expand. Yeah. Even that overall is gonna get chased away. Yeah, Funka knows that. With vision here, Emil could have started that. He even made an eBay here in his corner, almost as to block a potential Nidus in this area. And at this point, I really feel like Funka already has enough anyway to defend if there was a Nidus to come up somewhere, because he's got three tanks. Or like about to have the third one. Yeah, for sure. I'm uh, I'm still a bit confused by what Funka is doing because he does he doesn't really have any upgrades on. Even though he spotted the Nidus, uh, Emil isn't in that bad of a position, really. Like he does have a lot of roaches, which he is going to try to do something with right now. But his upgrades are still starting earlier than Funka's. He has a decent drone count, so his economy is okay. And his army is good enough as well to stop whatever Funka can throw at him. I'm not liking this move uh, with the Roche move out at all. I think this is a bit of a mistake. There's two tanks already. Yeah, it has to go back home. Two Reapers uh, falling in the main base of Emil right now. Do scout the double Evo, so Funka should know that Emil transitioned back into a macro game. Throws down the second eBay himself and starts his own plus one. So. Yeah, it seems like it's going into a, a bit of a longer game this time. Yeah, I, I hope for Funka he keeps on making roaches, uh, tanks, sorry, against roaches. Like we saw Zombie Grub earlier go for a Thor, and uh, that's not what you need against big amount of roaches and ground units. So he's kind of cut production on those four now. Emil, on the other hand, is going into Infestation Pit. He's going to be able to start. Not that many just yet, because he hasn't mined all that much gas, like it took him some time to take it in the pocket expansion. And even on the uh, natural, technically, he still hasn't taken that other gas, so he's only on 5 instead of 6 right now. Right. Um, we do see uh, Emil moving a little forward on the map with his army, probably trying to, to catch this push as it's moving, or at least trying to have a little bit of a better position. Funk, however, is just... It's going to move uh, towards the gold base, see if there's something there. I think he might want to hit up. before there is Infestus. Yeah, he. I, I'm very curious uh, what, what his plan is here. He isn't really securing any kind of important area down here. He needs to go up that ramp. And he doesn't have any meta packs yet. There's two just now who came out. They're still at the third base. But the moment he stims with this army, they're going to be quite low. Oh, actually, I don't think it's going to matter. He's just stimming in. Targeting down every single Ravager, every, every Roach is going down as well. A couple of units remain for Emil, but this isn't going to be enough against the army that Funka has. Uh, Stim does run out though, there's no medevac, so another Stim has to go down for Funka. Now it seems like it's Emil who is pushing back uh, Funka, so, so some trades going down for sure. I feel like uh, Emil got out ahead here. Uh, what? He pulled SCVs by accident? I was like, what's coming behind this? It must be Marines. And then I look at it and see, what? He misclicked somewhere on the third base. Brought his entire middle line. I feel like if the boys are already there, you might as well embrace it, you know? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think two tanks and 20 SCVs are that powerful against uh, 20 roaches, though. But don't could, don't underestimate the boys, man. The boys on the night out. Yeah. Nothing <laughs> can stop them, not even the scariest dragons out there. Yeah, a couple of drinks in and... <laughs> 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 nice seen it. Every after party. Yeah. Hashtag rolling the club. 
A single a single medevac drop going down on the, towards the fourth base of Emil. Emil sending some units to clean it up. Will lose his fourth base without a cancel. Emil, Emil, Emil. That's 300 minerals right there wasted, as well as a drone. So 350. A little bit of a waste, but still in a decent position, I would say. He has, uh, he has some upgrades, not the best. Oh, the Evo. How okay, could I ah. go for the Evo? There is plus one. Oh, does he get it? Goes for the investors instead and gets them. Oh, that's, yeah, that's cute. That's, that wasn't too great for Emil either. So, uh, two trades uh, in the last minute, which haven't been great for Emil at all. Emil talking. I, I feel like if Emil would focus a little more on the playing and less on the talking, it might work out better, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Maybe uh, I'll make you referee next game so you can tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Another fourth cancel uh, by Fanka. Uh, I'm actually not sure if it got cancelled or killed again. Wasn't paying attention to that. Fourth base is finished right now for the Terran player. So uh, taking an economy lead as well as an army lead. So uh, I, I feel like for Emil the priority right now is to survive towards Ultras. Without Ultras going to be very difficult yeah, to engage Yeah, I, I don't think army. that Fanka will give him the time. I think he might just yeah, attack soon, especially like the main bases of Emil is like the saddest thing I've ever seen. There's barely, there's one drone mining from one of the gases, there's <laughs> one EVO low on hit points, and his buildings might block him when he comes in, like if there's a big drop that happens there. Yeah, this uh, SimCity is something that could be uh, improved. We see a uh, big push moving to oh, the, the boys. Base. Here oh. they come! It's not a mistake, I think, this time. He's actually going for it. He's pulling the boys, good old times. He's making Apollo happy. Apollo somewhere just woke up. It's like something tickles me. I feel like something's happening. Something that's important. Yes, it is. As he the sends boys. them back, never mind. How do you make this mistake? Like, he's grouping them by accident. Yeah, they, I'm not sure how he does it. It's, a, it's an impressive mistake that we don't see very often. Taking down the rocks right now, trying to get access to this... Uh, this base of MU, uh, trying to get a good position with the tanks. He has six tanks here. They do have plus one, so they're going to do a lot of damage to these roaches and ravagers. Being up 30 supply, and this is uh, uh, going to be a very rough engagement for MU. A couple of bows going down on these tanks. One tank falling almost immediately, but the rest of the units just aren't falling. Funka stimming forward, cleaning up everything that MU has left. And GG being called, game one goes to Fanka, and Fanka is uh, is feeling good now, I can only imagine. Yeah, still, I mean, it wasn't that easy, right? Like, he had to put up a, a pretty good fight to eventually come out on top, so... Considering how Emil's match went, match went earlier, I'm not sure if this is that reassuring for Fanka just yet. I feel like he still needs to step it up if he wants to have a, a good chance against Zombie Grub. For me right now, Zombie Grub is the favorite to take second place in that group. Yeah, if, if we take a look at the at both of the games, both of the supply? series no, against okay. Emil, which is our only point of comparison, really. Uh, even the one against Pig, I guess. Like, I, I felt like Zombie Grub stood a bit more of a chance against Pig. So, uh, yeah, I'm curious uh, what that match will be. Odyssey gonna be on next map. What did you think uh, of this group like uh, before we started the two days game? Who did you think was going to take second? Like if you had well, to give if you had to give a percentage to like I, I think Funka would have yeah? been my second player. And yeah. now? No, now I would go for Zombie Grub. Okay. I think yeah, yeah. Similar for you or Yeah. I think for sure. Zombie Grub impressed uh, earlier in our games even like the one the last one against Pig I think was pretty good obviously like yeah. Pig, you can tell, is like Grandmaster player, like just with the Infestors, he was still very comfortable when the game got dicey and uh, he fished for that fungal and landed it. It's actually quite hard to uh, avoid that, like, in this kind of game, unless you somehow start pulling ahead, there's always going to be the threat of like burrowed Infestors. You can't really be scanning everywhere, right? No, I'm not sure how Terran is supposed to deal with that. Maybe uh, get a Raven or just build turrets along the way, but that seems a little uh, time consuming, so I'm not too sure. Uh, it seems like you just have to have really good eyes and be able to see the shadows moving. Yeah. No, I don't think too many people... I haven't seen too many actions where people realized very early that uh, there were burrowed units moving around. 
and uh, somehow you know use proper detection or got got set up uh, properly. Yeah, I don't think so either. So Do you uh, pay attention a lot? Like, if you think there are investors, I guess you're proto, so it doesn't really matter. Like, the only moment uh, there, there's investors. Well, like, it's it, most of the time when as protos you're playing against investors, the investors are on creep. They never really attack into you, so it's it's almost impossible to spot on creep. I feel like. You just uh, relevate, or what's it called? Revelate or relevate? Revelate. You cast revelation, and then yeah. you hope that there's some investors under it. If they're not, well, hope for the best. You aim move and win most of the time, even if they are there. So it's all good. All right, let's get some fresh in French intro in there. Since we got a French. Hey, let's do it. Let's do it. In okay, let let let's take a look where you are. In the top left, spawning is the the blue zerg player. It is Emil. And in the bottom right, the French, the Terran, he is red. He is Funka. Could you cast the whole game like this? No. <laughs> oh, no, I'm I, like I, I could, but I don't get. Hey, paid you're getting paid for, for this, all right? <laughs> you will do as you're told. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been working your impressions again, or? Like I've been trying. I'm terrible at it. I used to be good. But didn't you, you say like if Warcraft didn't pan out, you would have been like an impressionist or like a comedian or something? I I would have been a comedian for sure. Yeah, so you would need to do impressions. So no, imagine. Not 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 all comedians do impressions. Some of them just tell yeah. very good jokes. All right, imagine somebody put a gun to your head and was like, "Give me the best impression ever." <laughs> I, th I think that would be the end of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you still try, though, right? You s yeah, you still, yeah, you still try. You ask him, well, what do you like? What a night he end. <laughs> Is he just a night end? He's like a really sadistic guy. I want to play a little game. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so stupid, Todd? <laughs> <laughs> that sounded kind of like night end, yeah. Why are you laugh? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I do not think it is funny at all. <laughs> You're so stupid, French. <laughs> it's, you roll the R like him, or is it like a Dutch thing as well? No, nah, nah, I roll the R like him. Told. Years of practice. Man, that's impressive. That's no, that's no accident, my friend. That's no accident. Rolling the R is actually really hard if you're not used to it. Like in French, we don't have anything like that. Yeah, I can't imagine. You watch the videos of the Dr. Disrespect guy? I, I, I watched uh, I watched the first one. Didn't watch the second. Did one. you hear when he says like Raul like this? Like I think it's so hard to do, but he's he's like so well practiced. Raul like no, that? No, no. He rolls he rolls it more. He's okay. like Raul. Raul. Yeah. Crazy. S Spanish people, man. They have it easy with this. And even uh, Finnish people. They yeah, roll the off like great. Crazy. Mm. Well move, man. Yeah, I, I think Cero is even better than well move. Like when when I watched the first Serral interview, I think it was Valencia. I was like, I just built some roaches and I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he was too creepy player. <laughs> <laughs> like I just, I That's just pretty good, it. man. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, uh, you saw the interview in Yun Shopping when uh, Serral won and then Smix asked him something and then he said it's nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, in control had the funniest reaction I've ever seen backstage of this. He looked at it, his jaw dropped, and he looked like he was in shock. And then he he, he did like a huge scream. <laughs> I, I can't explain it. He was like, ah, like this, like he was. <laughs> 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 it was so funny, man. I really feel like there should be like a non-suitable for work stream backstage just to show in control and like sh follow him around. This, this guy is like so funny. <laughs> Insanity, man. We're just dying yeah. non-stop backstage, especially Maynard. Alright, we've got a game here. Couple units died left and right, but so far it looks like... They've just been trading. Funk actually ahead uh, in walkers for a little bit, but Emil will be catching back up. Yeah, and this is a... Uh, this is the same build that he tried uh, one of the games against... Uh, against Zombie Grub earlier. It didn't work out that well this time. It's, it doesn't seem to be working at all. Bunker up, being repaired. And uh, Funka isn't really delaying anything at this point. Starport is on time. No Cyclone being made like Zombie Grub did. So it's just going to, uh, to swap the factory with the Starport. There's going to be Stim adding one Marauder instead of just going pure Marine. Because uh, 
He did see the road chest, but I feel like this is going to be very, very rough for Emmy now. He invested so much in this early push, got two Ravagers, two Roaches, and he didn't really do anything. What did he kill? Like a single worker? Three yeah. units? Like, that's three not units. what you want. Yeah. He's down in units lost step. That's really not what you want when you're investing in units this early. How do Funka will throw down another CC here before he adds on anything? There's always, you know, the order of like where you get the e base, the third command center, then when you add the barracks. Yeah, n normally you want to add the e base before you get the before you get the third CC. So I, I think we'll see that. Uh, Emil is about to lose an overlord in the main base. He does have one overlord on the way, but he'll still be practically supply blocked. He has no units on the map, and the two medivacs just arrived. So I feel like this is going to be very difficult for Emil to stop if Fanka just flies to the other side of the map with boots, but he seems to be wanting to walk for some reason. I'm not too sure about that. I think if he would have just boosted to the other side of the map, Emil wouldn't have any units ready at all. Look at what Emil has. He has a Roach yeah. and two Ravagers. He might not have enough anyway. Like maybe he watched, uh, well he definitely watched Zombie Grab against Emil. He's like, I'm going to do the same. Go across the map with a lot of units and hopefully he won't have enough because he's been over -droning. Yeah, but he's he's going to arrive a little late. Ah, maybe his stim wasn't done yet, so it wouldn't have that much use. But stim is about to finish right now, and the the third base of Emil is going to be in a little bit of a a tough spot. I feel like because all of those reinforcements will have to go down that ramp as well. It's going to take some time. Creep isn't connecting those bases. Stim forward here by Fanka gets two Ravagers immediately. One Roach going down as well. All these drones are going to fall, and. Funka didn't lose anything yet. This base is going to go down. I don't think there's any way for uh, Emil to save it. Funka takes everything here. Takes a couple more roaches down before he right clicks the base again. This is looking terrible for Emil. This reminds me a lot of the the first game between Emil and Zombie Grub, where Zombie Grub just dropped two medivacs and killed Emil. It's, I don't know. Like he's, it seems like his scouting is minimal. He would need to have like one or two links out on the map, see how much units are moving out, and then start making units earlier. But Seems like he's a bit outmatched on like everything, because even dro like Walker wise, it's not like he over drone. You know, he doesn't have that. He didn't have that many drones either. So, yeah, it's yeah. like I guess when you can feel like when a player is significantly significantly better and just like does everything better. In this case, it's Funka so far in this game. Yeah, definitely. Combat shield about to finish. One one upgrades halfway done. Two uh, medivacs are heading towards the main base, trying to kill some spotter overlords. One medevac going towards the, the third base, which is being rebuilt by Emil right now, but Not the real so question long. is for how long will it still be up? Funka is in uh, his comfort zone now. He's dropping all over the place. The third base actually a little bit delayed, like just now the orbital is finishing, and I think Emil is going to start realizing here in a second in how much trouble he is. That third base is going to fall again. If he at least had any space station pit, he might be able to make some infestors to, you know, try and get some crazy comeback, but he doesn't even have that. Because he has a lot of gas. Yeah, he really does have a lot of gas. Been mining for four gas for a very long time right now, but like with all the gas in the world, you can't just build a six Templar, make Archons and go for it. You're not a Protoss player, Emil. You're going to need some ground units as well to support these gas units. Uh, Funka just picking up the medevac that just killed the third base. Emil rebuilding the third in a different location. This location is going to be even harder to hold against the tank push, uh, which is inevitably coming from Fanka. Why is he getting link speed? Desperation, maybe? I don't know. Like, you shouldn't be getting link speed here for sure. Like, it's roaches that you should be, you should be making, and then need two infestors, and then add ravagers, and just hold on. Even on three bases, even if the fourth base is being denied, on three bases you have a chance. Yeah, but, you know, there's a, a, a Dutch proverb, which is uh, a cornered cat jumps like a madman. And I feel like in this case, Emil is the cornered cat and he's just jumping like a madman, trying to make something work, yeah, you know, yeah. getting the link speed. Did you ever watch that movie, The Human Centipede? I did, actually. You know, in the, in the start of that movie, like the Japanese guy. He's like no, I think I watched two. Oh, Human okay, yeah. Two. So, like, that Japanese guy, he's like... Abducted by the, uh, you know, the main character, and he's like, yeah, yeah, he's screaming in Japanese, and he's like, a Japanese man is never as strong as when backed into a corner. I feel like that's the same thing as what you were just trying to say. And like, I don't know the exact saying in English, but I like, that, I like that saying. Yeah, it's, it's true. It's a good saying. 
fourth base on the way already here uh, for Funka. By the way, that was a terrible movie. That gave me nightmares. <laughs> it actually did. Yeah, everybody has like a different stomach for that stuff. You know, it's kind of like, you know, doctors, they can see a lot of blood. They can see somebody opened yeah. up and they are fine. Like, I can't. But it's same for like horror movies like this. I just, I hate it, man. Yeah, I'm terrible with horror movies. But for some reason, that movie was so absurd that it really, really didn't yeah, do yeah. that much for me. You know, Sase, he watched that movie while eating dinner. He really? told me, yeah. Oh, that's impressive. He's a psycho, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they test it these days. You're like, alright, here's your food, here's the human centipede one. If you're capable yeah. of watching it, you're most likely a psycho. He's a sociopath. Sassy is not capable of empathy. No, I'm just. <laughs> 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 Sassy decided to tune into one more tournament of StarCraft. <laughs> <laughs> here's all of I talked to him recently, right. actually. So I was glad to hear he's doing fine. A couple units here are gonna steam in there, get two infestors, and then get rid of. by Emil. Where, where yeah, are the sensor towers, man? Against Zerg, I never see any, but I feel like... On one side of, uh, maybe like around the third base, for example, for Funka now, you would know if there is any uh, run buys coming in or anything. It, to be honest, I don't think Funka cares too much about run buys at this point. This army is so massive, you can just A, move across the map and kill uh, kill Emmy at, Emil at any point in time, I feel like. Uh, three bases for Emil, four bases, fifth going down for Funka. Plus two armor finishing, plus three attack already starting, and ammo only has plus two carapace. Getting two extra investors, I don't think it's going to be enough. I know it's not going to be enough. Just doesn't have the numbers to deal with the kind of army that Funka has. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take a hell of a fungal for uh, Emil <laughs> to hold this. Yeah, that's but to be sure. fair, Pig did make uh, Zombie Grub's army evaporate really quickly. Yeah, but there the supplies at least were even this time. Uh, if you take a look at the supply, Emil is Oh, I'm down. looking, alright. Yeah, Emil's down 60 supply. It's gonna be down another base. Funka checking the gold, making sure nothing uh, cheeky is happening. A little bit of a run by going into the natural, but it's only five links. SAVs can clean this up by themselves. And Funka is going to continue pushing on. I can only imagine. And, uh, actually, he's. Just as I say that, he's moving back with a big part of his army. Nah, a little bit of a go. task force going towards the the third base, I guess. He might be French, but sometimes sometimes he moves forwards as well. <laughs> it can happen. He's gonna get right in there. Last few roaches here on the high grounds as the, ra the ravagers are gonna be super exposed and by themselves. I feel like my Obzig has been terrible today. The Are you ball. clicking all over the place like a typical uh, pro gamer right now? Yes, clicking all over, selecting and deselecting everything. And uh, I think this is the last time that Emil is selecting his unit this tournament as well. Because uh, it's the last time you are selecting them as well. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> out of it. He's done. Uh, it's, it's done for Emil. GG, well played. And just like that, he exits the tournament uh, in last place in group. C and we'll be seeing who is going to get second place in this group with Funka against Zombie Grub, which is going to be a very close map, I feel like. They have uh, the same results against the same players, they just haven't played each other yet, so it's going to be uh, a very exciting one. I think they're quite matched up as well. Yeah, I'm not sure how good they are in each in, in the TVT matchup. Yeah, though. the fact that it's TVT can matter a lot, like obviously if somebody is having a hard time in Mirror, but uh, we're gonna head to a break. And then after we come back, it's going to be Zombie Grub against Funka. So see you guys in a minute for the decider match here of Group C.